to the first weekend of August, so very close to normal. Not exactly record breaking, but once again, it's going to be looking at the possibility of some hotter weather coming our direction out there. Now, if you've had a chance to see Mars very bright in the skies in late night hours and sinking in the southwest, bit of a myth going around that started about 2003 that the Mars is going to be as bright as the full moon. But unfortunately, somehow those two got kind of conflated. And as of right now, the main myth is that a lot of what's being spread on the Internet is that Mars will be as big as the full moon, as in closer to us. Not true, not going to happen. Right now, Mars is at what is called opposition. It's as close in its orbit as it gets to us. It's very bright because of that, and it's shining, again, a lot more brightly in the sky. It's very easily recognizable. But if Mars was this close to us, we'd be talking about some disastrous gravitational consequences, and it would not be good for either planet out there. So Mars will not be getting any closer period, end of sentence. There, I said it. I feel better now. The reason we bring this up is because, once again, we get a lot of people out there who have been emailing us very kindly, thank you very much, and asking about, well, it's not true. I realize that, but just in case it is, we're going <laughs> to post it anyway. It's not true. Please stop posting it. It makes our job a lot harder as science geeks to clear up stuff like that. It's a myth. It's not going to happen, so there it is. You hate when people post fake weather stories. We hate when they post fake news stories. It's just a vicious cycle. It's, it is, it's the science geek in me coming out like that. Just, just putting the record straight for right now, just to make certain everybody's on the same page. But as of right now, it's not true. <laughs> so just, as of right now. So there's hope. Stop, it could happen. stop that. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. When we come back on Daybreak Health Scare up north, why health officials think dozens of people could have been exposed to a dangerous virus coming up.